Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years, and for 26 years I have added specializing in helping people recover from early childhood trauma. Trauma means abandonment, abuse, or neglect. Those um, consistently cause in young children a group of psychological wounds. The reason I'm mentioning this to you right now is to provide some perspective on two common, what I believe are mislabels, misdiagnoses of some relationship and personal conditions. These conditions are called narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder, if you want the full treatment, and the related condition of egotism. Many people are annoyed by those attitudes and behaviors. I'm great, I'm better than you, look at me, wonderful me. Um, and people are troubled in case they are accused of having these conditions. I want to propose here, briefly, neither one, these conditions are real, they're not imaginary. People are over-focused on themselves and have an unrealistic idea of their talents and worth as a human being. That's true, it's real. It's very annoying um, with people who are attempting to relate to them on an uh, equal, equal basis. Uh, Narcissus, as you may know, in Greek mythology was an extremely handsome young man who, according to the story, was directed to look at his image in a still pool of water, and he was so entranced that he fell in love with himself. And there are various endings to that story, um, either one of which is he died because he was unable to receive and give love to other people. That comes across to us over several thousand years from the original Greek mythology. There is a counterpart alive and well in our culture today. <clears throat> One of the psychological wounds that young children grow, one of six wounds, um, is difficulty bonding with other people. Another of the six wounds is reality distortion. If you put those two together, often they can cause a symptom whereby someone is just thrilled with her or himself to the exclusion of other people and or they cannot really give or receive love. They may pretend to do that, but it's not genuine. It's plastic and it's phony. People have a hard time relating to such people. So what I'm trying to say here is this. If you know someone who has been labeled by you or someone else narcissistic or egotistical, those are symptoms of the real problem. The real problem is they are survivors of significant childhood abandonment neglect or abuse, and they have developed automatically, not intentionally, a group of psychological wounds, one of which is reality distortion, another of which is an inability to bond, to empathize, and to feel one's feelings, possibly. That is what needs to be concentrated on not the mislabeling and misdiagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder, which is misleading, or egotism, which is a pop psych label that also misses the point. So if you know someone with these labels, or if other people apply these labels to you, my message here is study lesson one in my nonprofit educational website uh, at sfhelp.org you'll learn more about how do these early wounds occur, what do they mean, and most importantly how to reduce them. I have a group of related videos 
to listen on here on YouTube. Here's the link if you want to scan those and get more familiar. Thanks for watching.